Hello. 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 Today's video may get a little strange because we're going to be talking about performance art. Performance art is a relatively new type of art that is all about creativity. Before we talk about modern day performance art, let's take a look at how art got to this point. Humans have been making art for a long time. The earliest cave paintings date back to about 500,000 years ago. These paintings are mostly of animals and hunts, and people probably painted them to commemorate their hunting rituals and also to bring about good luck on the next hunt. Humans went on making cave paintings like this for hundreds of thousands of years. But about 5,000 years ago, when humans formed the first civilizations, we changed the way that we make art. People stopped making art that honored animals and hunting and started making art that honored kings and gods. And for the past 5,000 years, this has really been the main reason people made art. They made it for churches or temples, palaces, and castles. It was through painting these subjects, kings and gods, that masters like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo honed their skills. It was only about 150 years ago that people began making art for a different reason. And that reason is creativity and expression. It's pretty crazy to think that it was only 150 years ago when artists started trying to be creative and expressive on purpose. That's not to say that up until that point, artists weren't being creative and expressive, but it certainly was not their primary goal. The reason Vincent van Gogh is so famous is because he was the artist that really pioneered this switch. His paintings were unique, stylish, creative, and expressive. His goal in painting seemed to be to create an image that was unlike anything the world had seen before. And he brought about a whole generation of artists that continued painting in this creative style. This soon resulted in a group of young artists, all determined to see who could push the boundaries of art the furthest. As artists pushed their creativity, they began working with new materials, like newspaper clippings to make collages and assembling found objects to make strange sculptures. In 1916, an artist named Hugo Ball created an artwork that was neither painting nor sculpture nor drawing. This would be the world's first performance art. Now, you may be wondering, what the heck was that? That was a nonsense poem. A nonsense poem was one of the first types of performance art, where people would get up and recite a poem with made-up words. They would often do it wearing weird costumes. Why did people do this? They did this trying to be creative, trying to do something new, trying to push the boundaries of artwork. These artists also said that their strange performance art sought to reflect and comment on the chaos and ridiculousness of the world around them. The best example of this is an artwork made by R. Mutt. R. Mutt's real name was Marcel Duchamp, and he was the art world's first troll because he took a urinal off the wall, laid it on its back, signed it, and submitted it to a contest at an art gallery. This is a perfect example of the type of stunt that artists would continue to pull for the next hundred years. There was an entire section of the art world where it didn't matter how skilled you were. It was all about how creative you were, and if you could come up with an idea that no one had ever thought of before. For example, this artist, who set on a dozen eggs for weeks until they hatched. The most famous example of modern performance art was done by an artist named Marina Abramovich. The artwork was called The Artist is Present. And what it is is she sat at a table in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City and just sat there and stared at people. Anybody could come up and look her in the eye. This artwork gained a lot of attention, and some people thought it was kind of silly or stupid, but some people broke down and cried. 
And regardless of what you think about this artwork, you can't deny that Marina Abramovich was the first person to do anything like this. Another great performance artist is Jan Eriksson. He's a Norwegian artist who inspired me to make this lesson. His videos are funny, destructive, but also strangely satisfying. I'll give you one more example of performance art before we learn how to make some of our own. This skateboarding is from a group of skateboarders that calls themselves Fancy Lad. And these guys are known for doing insanely weird and creative stuff with their skateboards. Tricks that no one's ever done before or even thought of doing. They are half athlete, half artist, and all creativity. Now it's time to create our own performance art. The first step to do this is to come up with the idea. So you want to sit back and think. Think of something that has never been done before. A performance or an activity that is strange, funny, random. As you think, consider what household objects are around you and how you could use them in an unconventional way. Consider if you would like to make a mask or a costume to be a part of your performance. Any costumes or masks that you use would not have to be elaborate. It could be as simple as the sticky notes that I had over my eyes at the beginning of this video. Consider what actions will be taking place in your video, but make sure these actions are somehow out of the normal. For example, the scream singing done by Yoko Ono or the wacky antics of the Harlem Globetrotters. Think about who's going to be in the video. You don't necessarily have to be in the video yourself. You could have friends or family members participate, or it could even just be your hands or objects in the video. Once you've got your idea, you're ready to film. You may need to set up your Chromebook webcam in a creative way to get a good angle. So figure out a good setup and make sure that you can actually see what's going on in your performance. If you're filming on a phone, you'll probably have to lean it up against something to get the right angle to record your performance. Here's an example of a performance art piece I filmed on a Chromebook. I call it Hungry Vacuum. Once you've successfully filmed your performance art, all that's left to do is to post it. To post on a Chromebook, go to your files, click videos, find the video, and drag it to your Google Drive. Then start a post on Classroom, hit the paperclip icon, click Google Drive, and find the video in your Google Drive.
you download the Google Classroom app, you can post a video directly from your phone by starting a post, choosing the pick photo option, and finding your video on your camera roll. While you create this week, remember, there's only one rule. Do something that's never been done before. Doesn't matter if it's funny or weird. In fact, it probably should be. I'll end this video with one final performance art piece called Deflated. <laughs>